What's up guys, Brian here and today I want to expand on the idea of the geography of the guitar so how to look at the fretboard and I'm gonna try and show you a few exercises that you can do to improve on that the first exercise I like to call this the string by string exercise okay so you're basically looking at the guitar and trying to find the same note everywhere only that you're doing it in the order so that you're starting on the sixth string okay let's say we want to find all the C's okay on the guitar so where's the C on the sixth string it's on the eighth fret and then what's the C on the fifth string you probably know this from playing a C major chord and then ask yourself, well, where's your C on the fourth string? Well, you could go back a string and do the octave thing. So two strings up, two frets up. Or skip a string, two frets up. And then where's the C on the third string? You could go back to the fifth string and find your C here. So then eventually you want to be able to get quicker at this. At first you might have to calculate, do some calculations counting from notes that you already know or from open strings or the 12th fret, counting down. So you want to be able to try and find all the notes from, let's say, don't worry about the octave higher for now and just do the 12th fret to do the 0 to 12th fret area so C and then choose another one and after you've done that for 12 times you should be able to find all the notes okay and the more you do it the quicker you'll get uh, one of the biggest reasons for doing this is that you know when you're learning a new chord shape for example you can quickly find every note especially in this kind of area I think guitarists kind of struggle the most it's one of the most weak area okay so if you learn like a C major chord here you really want to be quick enough to find that okay that's a C E G and C and in terms of numbers, okay, one, three, five, one, for example, because that's going to be um, an area that I super encourage people to do to learn more about their instrument. Um, the other, the other exercise is called fret by fret, going from the sixth string to the first string, or the, all the way back. In that order, we're going to do it in the other order going from fret 0 to fret number 12. So from fret 0 you ask yourself, are there any C's? Okay, no, because there isn't a, an open string of C. Are there any C's on the first fret? There is one, C. And you ask yourself, are there any C's on the second fret? And it might take you some time to do this one, but soon enough you'll find that you can simply do the uh, octave thing and there's another octave thing over here when you are on the second string you could go two strings backwards so skip two strings so really three strings and go up two frets or you can think of this as the C major shape okay and this works anywhere as long as you're on the same string D and D uh, so once you're here you go up okay any C's on the fourth fret note and you go okay there's one here on the fifth fret then you could go to the closest one because there aren't any C's on the sixth or the seventh fret once you're here you could do the same thing again so 
skip two strings, go up two frets. Okay, this is like your other C major shape. Or you could go the other way. So you could go octave. Well, you could go. You could say that your first string is just the same note as the sixth string, right? So if your C is here, your C is going to be here. Then do your octave. You arrive at the same note. And that's about it, because when you do one more octave, you basically go back to where you started. So I hope that helps. Do that for all 12 keys. And in another video, I will tell you the particular order of notes that I like to practice it in. Because you'll find that if you do C, do all your Cs, and then you do the C sharps, it might be a bit too easy. So I try and practice them kind of more spaced out. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Okay, share it with your guitar friends even. And if you think that this might help them develop all around. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this every week. And until then, I'll see you next time. Cheers.